up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 49, man. Mm. Shit, we got, I guess, a, a friend of the motherfucking show in this you bitch, though. Three Pete, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back in the day, my nigga Buddy, though, what's good with you, bro? Shit, I can't complain, man. Man, I gotta go ahead and call my motherfucking producer out here down here, man. First guest we had that was on time. <laughs> And the producer was like, this nigga live here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga upstairs trying to help out granddad. Hey, with hey the, he handling business. Yeah, helping him out with the cable, man. You already know you got somebody older, dog. But what's good with you? Everything been straight? Man, hell yeah. I'm, shit, working. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Man, before we get into everything, dog, you already know we got to do it, man. For sure. You got to salute somebody, dog. You know, I know you, you know what I'm saying? You know the criteria, dog. Gotta be alive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Smell like flowers right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Still smell them and stuff. You For know sure. if I said that right. <laughs> and, um, you know, gotta be outside your uh, immediate circle. You know, your mom, dad, shit like that. Okay. Well, shit, for this one, yeah. I'm gonna I'm salute my girl. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to find somebody that's gonna hold you down Hell through yeah. a whole lot of shit. You Hell know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. And we done legit been through a whole lot of shit. Yeah. And the crazy part is, and the, the crazy part is we just really met a year ago mm-hmm. and i'm talking about a year ago like today oh shit you nigga happy, happy anniversary for shit. sure, sure. <laughs> good looking like, for real but that's my like shit that's my dog yeah, shit. we yeah. even look alike it's, it's that Damn, deep man me? man so, yeah i gotta shout her out salute her yeah right now you know who you is that's hell good. yeah that'd be a shit though when you find somebody who like compliments you dog for sure you know what i'm saying and uh just make everything a little bit easier you don't need nobody who gonna make shit hard you yeah. know what I'm saying? Always complain. You know how or it don't, is. Or shit. don't understand your vision for real. What yeah. you're trying to do. Yeah. That's all for my salute, dog. I'm going to salute past relationships, dog. Mm. Something, something new, dog. Because as bad as they were. They it taught was, you something. Man, for sure. <laughs> for taught sure. me a lot, dog. And like yeah. I said, I salute them. You know. One of them was my son. My oldest son, mom. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I salute her because, you know what I'm saying? Most, most females would not let you have custody right. of your kid. You know, we got a little boy. So she felt like that was the right thing to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I salute her, man. But yeah, bad relationships, dog. Because you just, you know what I'm saying? The shit that you might have fucked up on. You know, because it ain't always the female fuck. Right. Sometimes we be fucking up, dog. You Sometimes know, we fuck up. Yeah. fuck up, too. Dog, you be young, dog. You know, I was young <laughs> doing dumb shit. But yeah. then, like, I know why I fucked up on in them relationships Take to make to this one, one good. Right. Because I think when you came on last time, I was engaged. Right. Now a nigga married out here, dog. Hey, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate guy. it, dog, man. That's that's just a funny shit when you be like, dog, you talk to somebody, you can't say my girl no more. Like, right. You be like, dog, my, my wife. wife. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. F-? I never thought I'd get married, nigga. Like, and you got to be careful with that. Like, you you got to know to a woman that's a huge deal, you feel me? For sure. Like, right. Because there been times I slipped up saying, yeah, my girl. Like, what? Like, yeah. oh, yeah, my wife could. <laughs> But at this point, though, shit, that's your wife. You, I know you take pride in yeah. saying that's my wife. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. It's different when y'all work for that shit. Yeah, you know and saying? then, dog, you know, before we got married, nigga, I could tell she was hating that we was just girlfriend and boyfriend, yeah. and everybody we was around was married. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it's that time <laughs> of year, too. You know, everybody getting proposed to right now, so somebody girl turning up the pressure on that. Yeah, yeah, ass. hell yeah, for real, dad. But yeah, congrats, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, I'm, I'm glad you, you got somebody you could build with. For sure. For sure, man. But shit, man, before we get to everything that's going on with you, dog. You already know Thanksgiving fucking two days from now. This shit airing on Tuesday. So shit, Thanksgiving Thursday, man. Tell me some shit that you want to see on the Thanksgiving table and some shit that you don't want to see on the table, dog. Shit, for me, I ain't gonna lie. I'm <laughs> all about that dressing. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna see if I rock with you, dog. What you put on your dressing, man? Red cranberry sauce. Oh, hell yeah. Nigga, I thought you were gonna say gravy, dog. Hell no. I need the cranberry sauce. Man. I ain't even, don't even, man, watch out <laughs> with that gravy shit. Make sure I got cranberry sauce on my plate. Nigga. Like, and I'm in the sweets. So, like, shit, the sweet potato pies, yeah, the yeah, cakes, yeah, yeah, the yeah, red velvets. Yeah. Like, nigga, man, red velvet, hell yeah. I'm a nigga, like, you come to my mama house on Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'll be like, nigga, you ain't leaving with no pies and shit. No, bro. Like, you might <laughs> you been staying at the crib. Eat what you can eat now. Hell yeah. But once you get full and start dozing off, yeah. you ain't leaving with that shit. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, the, the dressing is a must, dog. And I, nigga, if I come to your crib, I'm bringing my own can of cranberry sauce. For sure. Because it might not I be need, enough, dog. I need, I need it all. Hell yeah. What's some shit that you don't want to see on the table, dog? I think you can keep that shit at the crib. Chitlins. I don't fuck with chitlins. Chitlins, man. I remember my grandma making them us, dog. You just, that smell, dog. Yeah, that smell. You'll never forget hey, it. You, now, me, hey, have you ever tried it? No. Yeah. I can't get past the smell. Me, me neither, dog. I never tried it, dog. You got to know that's fucking pig intestines. Like, I think that's it. I don't like, even know. But the smell just let me know it ain't yeah. right. I ain't supposed to be digesting see, that really, shit. Nah, nobody really fuck with chitlins, dog. But one thing I don't want to see is no potato salad, dog. 
Mm. I don't like that shit, bro. Like, I don't know. It's something about it, though. The, I ain't all about who make it. Like, I don't, see, I I don't want to see no white people potato salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like, heard that shit. grapes and shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one thing about white people, though, I realized on Thanksgiving, they make shit that we, we eat on the, on the regular. Right. Mashed potatoes. Like, String beans, like nigga, we don't want to see. That. Anybody trying to see that, bro? We ain't nobody trying to have no regular. We were trying some nigga. collard greens, nigga. So I'm, uh, I'm waiting for that plate you've been waiting for all year, nigga. For you real, like right now you prepping not to eat just yeah. to be, you know on what I'm saying? Thursday, nigga. Dog. Now let me ask you this, cause me and my wife had an argument about this shit, dog. What type of macaroni you like? You like creamy macaroni, that you know, like that motherfucking KFC type. Macaroni. Mm. Oh, you like that hood, like the six cheese. I like that hood that, that like when you pick that bitch up. <laughs> this yeah. shit like this, dog. The cheese all the way back down for to real. the plate. Hell like, yeah. That creamy shit, that for the birds. I can't oh, yeah. really. Oh yeah, shout out to uh people who don't know how to make dressing, dog, because we had argument. My girl, my grandma, I said she the second worst dressing maker. Oh shit, you gonna get in trouble. <laughs> 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 but dog, she know that she can't make good dressing because she don't like dressing. Her grandma don't like dressing. Right. So I can't see you mastering something that you don't like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And my producer slash uncle, you know what I'm saying? Him and my mom, they got the same uh, same moms, different dads. Yeah. But his grandma, yeah, that, dre that, that dressing a mess, dog. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Uh, the Thanksgiving ago, I went I went back to the A. Mm -hmm. And, like, one of my, my mom invited her side of the family. And which, like, I ain't really grew up with them like that. But yeah. I, I know of them. Yeah. So it was cool. Yeah. But, like, one of them brought, they was supposed to be bringing dressing. Yeah. But they bought stove top oh, stuff. Oh, hey, I knew dog. you said dog. No, you can't do that. You shit. can't do that. Bro. You can't. Yeah, yeah. You can't it, do that. That's that. Yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to be racist, but that's the white people dressing. Bro, you like don't that, do dog. that, bro. Yeah, because it's just like that. it ain't the same, dog. It ain't the same. One uh -uh. time I tried to make some dressing at the crib, dog. That shit was terrible. <laughs> I was on YouTube like a motherfucker, dog. I thought this shit was gonna be nigga terrific, nigga. No, bro, certain stuff we just don't do like. Yeah. I need my dressing made by somebody. My dressing and banana pudding got to be made yeah. by somebody, mama, yeah. that got an elbow, <laughs> like. Her arm meet her forearm. And Dog, go elbow those between. the classic grandmas, nigga. No, I'm saying when she go like this, that motherfucker. Yeah, be, that's how you know that motherfucker. Shout out to them classic grandmas with the meat sure. elbow, dog. <laughs> hey, that should be man. You about to get a good motherfucking Thanksgiving. You feel me? You about to get a, a good dinner in period, nigga, with a girl, who, a grandma like that, dog. Yeah. That's a throwback grandma, and you know they famous outfit be that little house coat. You like, already know it, dog. And they gotta hold it closed. They don't, <laughs> it, don't really, it don't even like button up or don't tie. Yeah, dog. That shit funny as hell, dog. <laughs> Well, shit, man. Last time you was on here, you had uh, it's on the flow. For sure. Volume one, man. Well, I, can I say volume one or just? Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you know, saying you just dropped the uh, the second installment today, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But tell me, how was the reviews on the uh, on the first one? Man, shit, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody was like, they was turned about this shit. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of just feel like that that shit boosted me yeah. up a little bit more to even go harder on this one, just cause like. I know I was being heard on that shit. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. and people just could just see like I found my lane, I found my pocket, yeah. I found my sound for real. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause on that one you just had your uh, you said it was your cousin that was featured yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout so, out to Gator. So shit, do you feel like like you was getting enough love like from cause you you back and forth from Detroit to Atlanta? Yeah. Like was it more Atlanta than Detroit? I ain't gonna lie, I always get the most Atlanta love. <sighs> Man. I always get the most Atlanta. And and I mean that's just because I guess like, they're the direct people that know me. Yeah. And, like, shit, so I hear it back from them first. Yeah, 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 for sure. And it's, it's just hard getting love in the city, dog. Like, it's hard getting love in Detroit, dog. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, if you ain't a name already, All right. you know what I'm saying? You don't get that love. You get your, you know, you get the love that you get. You know what I'm saying? You know that love. I mean, right now, right now, I think it's... It's kind of hard, especially with everything being closed. Yeah. And like, you, you kind of got to go, like a nigga like me, got to go out of my comfort zone to get that type of love. Yeah. Like, I yeah, have yeah. to go to the strip clubs. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that ain't really my scene. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Man. I ain't really with throwing money at y'all. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah. On some wild shit, though, I ain't been in a strip club three times in my life, dog. I done been in a strip <laughs> club about four or five times. But I'm telling yeah. you, I did not come... To see those strippers like really throwing money on them, I really yeah. came and like the girl that's chilling in the club in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably was trying to slide out with her. Like I was dog, not coming yeah. for the bullshit. For the you know yeah, yeah. Because dog, I, when niggas talking about going to strip club, I always thought like, all right, you see some ass shaking, some titties shaking, you get a lap dance, but shit, ain't nothing else you could do with them unless you got to pay a motherfucking a, 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 a price and shit. She did that shit with everybody else. You feel me? And like I'm just like one of them niggas. Like I be peeping shit and like I really be by myself a lot of times. So like. Yeah. I'm not about to come into a strip club so mm -hmm. you can see I got racks on me or bands on me, and then somebody catch me in the parking lot slip. Man, like, or or I gotta pop somebody. Like I ain't Hell trying yeah, to. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. It's always good, man. Like I said, oh, you get the. That's when you start to realize like certain areas not to be in. Yeah. Like I remember going to the club and, and shutting the club down, right. like to the point that you out. 
She, you, 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 you get the club closed at two o'clock. You in the parking lot till two forty five, trying to holler at the chick. You yeah. was, you know, then holler at in the, in the club. But now, nigga, like I don't go to the club. But when I start getting older, like and then I was out that bitch at twelve, one o'clock. Like yeah. I do hour in that bitch and leave. Yeah, and I just learned like what I'm looking for. And people, yeah. I ain't just gonna say a woman. Like in people, yeah, I gotta give out that same energy. So yeah. if I'm in a strip club to yeah. meet people, yeah, that's yeah. the type of energy I'm gonna get back. Hell like yeah, these motherfuckers sure. was there for the money in the first place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you nah. ain't about to find. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you do find love in a strip club or or club. You might. It's I a feel slim like chance. It's, it's, it's slim. Super slim. Slim as hell. <laughs> because I I remember you know prior relationships and stuff and girl in the club all the time. You meet her in the club and you think you're gonna change her. Nah. She wanna go to the club. All the time, dog. Like every weekend. And like I said, me like I I didn't have my fun. Like yeah. like I said, I'm from the A, bro. We we got oh, parties man. for no reason. I can just imagine, dog. Like seeing the shit that's going on right now with the whole coronavirus. <laughs> I can just imagine like dog, that's one place I ain't been to that I wanna go to, dog. Bro, let's Atlanta. do it. Atlanta. Man, hell yeah. Let's do it. I'm dead ass. <laughs> hey, what's the little chicken spot down there? Everybody be going crazy. It's a few. No, that's it's, it's a spot in New Orleans. They be having like a little line, dog. Yeah. But I, in the A, you're going to find a chicken spot on every corner and all them bitches are going to be slapping. And I heard like the restaurants be like open hella late. Like after the club, you can go hit a spot. Yeah. Man, I got to go down there, dog. Because yeah. me, me, me and my wife were talking about that shit like relocating like in the next, not no time soon, but maybe like in the next couple of years, like we were thinking about like North Carolina yeah. or or Georgia or something like that, yeah. dog. Like, I know I know for a fact this is probably my last year. I think I told you that yeah, last year. We talked about that, yeah, dog. I think, I think this is my last year. You've been, you been back and forth a lot, dog. Yeah. I mean, but I got to. You know what I'm saying? My, my baby down there now. So, like, mm-hmm. I got to be back and forth. But Damn. it's just... And, and it's weather like oh nigga. I ain't I ain't really no snow type nigga bro man hell no when I seen that shit the other day, yesterday I was mad as hell like man. I moved to Texas for three years bro and I swear to God I used to be able to go the whole winter with a hoodie nah right. nigga I be this bitch freezing like Can't nigga I need it. everything I need nah, motherfucker give me a snowsuit what's that one shit <laughs> what's that one shit niggas do wear uh, a shirling <laughs> so you got the fur all Duh, around that bitch I need that shit bro but before we get to uh it's on the flow too man. Shit, nigga, overall, like, 2020, though, how your year been, dog? I done seen some rough points. Yeah. But for myself, personally, yeah. it's been my best year. Yeah, like, man. For real, for it's real. It's crazy, like, I feel too. I just hit my, my prime. Have anybody in your, like, immediate circle caught the virus? Yeah. Okay. Like, li- like for real, for real, like, my sister that stay in Atlanta, yeah. she just caught it. Damn. So, like, she's still quarantining right now. Shout out to me. I hope you feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, she was telling me, like, she wasn't feeling terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but it's just, like, she worked. The worst she she a social my little sister a social worker so okay. like so she, she got to go in the hospital yeah and that she shit. around so, people yeah. yeah so she had traits of it so she got to like sit out you know what I'm saying and then I had an aunt uh, one of my uncle's wife she passed away from it but I she think had, you talked about that on last yeah, week yeah she had prior uh, health conditions yeah so. man yeah that's the thing dog like this shit bro I don't I don't know when it's gonna end bro like for real like me either but that that's another reason why I say like this has been my best year it's really making me. Um, not take life for granted. Like, yeah, oh, hell everybody yeah. else. Like, you getting yeah. on them planes? Hell yeah, I'm getting on the plane. Cause yeah. If I can catch this bitch and I'm just sitting at the crib and I go to the grocery store one day yeah, and, and I get shit. it, yeah. or I go to the gas station and get it from a gas pump, mm-hmm. I might as well go to Vegas and roll the dice. I don't like. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy my life. Bro. Yeah, you got to. Only thing about it, you just gotta be, you know, saying cautious of hey, what you do. I, though. That's it. I'm gonna be doing what the fuck I was doing beforehand. Yeah. Just a little bit more sanitary. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's it. Dog. <laughs> my thing is like. Cause then I, my my girl, her parents, dog, like they just stuck in the crib, like they not yeah. doing nothing, nigga. We ain't been to her mom crib, bro, since this shit started in March. We been there in that motherfucker right, crib twice. Mm. Like this is her mama, dog. Like right. we was go, we was going to her mom crib at least three times out the out the week. Yeah. Like eat, I go watch the football games with her, her stepdad and shit. Right. Like nothing. My girl at the point she pissed off with these niggas. Like, right, like why the she, fuck we can't come like, over there? She called like I, I'm tired of talking to y'all. I'm tired of FaceTime with y'all, nigga. Like we come over, like we chill, we kick it. Right, we be playing motherfucking spades and shit. Yeah. Like we just told my wife I play spades, nigga. We over here having a good time. That's why I say like, but I I get it though. Cause, I get because I mean motherfuckers have been dropping left and right. So that's, like that's, yeah, hell yeah for sure. I get I get people being you but know what I'm saying fearful. Like but you said, you can't you I can't, can't live stop in fear. Yeah, and you can't just stop your whole. Your whole way of living. Like you said, you just got to be cautious of what you do. Right. And then just be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be careful and be mindful of, uh, of other people, dog. Yeah. Keep that motherfucking hand sanitized in the car. For sure. <laughs> and you good to go, man. Keep your mask Wash on. Wash your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be in nobody's grill. Like, yeah. yesterday, dog, we're going to talk, we're going to we gonna touch on that too, but last week, when was the Gucci battle? Gucci and Jeezy. That was uh, last Thursday. Yeah. Nigga, we had, <laughs> we had my uncle. We had his girl, we had my cousin, 
My uncle homeboy, like, we was kind of deep, though. That's right. Like, and nigga, afterwards, my girl sprayed the whole crib <laughs> Hey, you, but that's what I'm saying. You got you got to do what you yeah. what you got to do. Yeah. It, it's it's kind of hard, especially like around this time of the year to like yeah. cut ties with everybody. Yeah, like, man, it's hard though. Like, man, me and this nigga and my brother, we see each other at least shit. Damn, every weekend we kick it. You right. know what I'm saying? The crib drinking, chilling. Nigga, we went two months without, without that shit. Was weird, bro. Shit weird, bro. You, like I said, I drank too much alcohol doing that shit, though. Man, hey, <laughs> when everybody else was inside. I was outside. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hell yeah, and you good, nigga. Knock on wood. Hey, shit, knock on wood. We all good, dog. I'm nobody a- in my immediate circle, like I don't know nobody personally has been affected by this shit, dog. Like right. I know all people that you know went to my school and shit like that, but nobody close to me had this shit. Right. Cause my circle, we do the same shit, bro. Like yeah. even before coronavirus, nigga, we wasn't in the clubs. Like we wasn't like we man. My whole shit. That's how I know I started getting older, bro. Like. I like I like chilling at the crib. Right. And niggas come to the crib. Right. If we can all come to the crib, nigga, go in on some wings or some pizza and drink. And shit, they smoke. We we having a good time, dog. Yeah. Play motherfucking speaker, JBL, niggas play play some hits on the flow. <laughs> for sure. And we Turn good to go, show. dog. For sure, yeah, for sure. For me, like my thing always been like, I go from the crib to the studio. Yeah. Maybe out to eat with my girl. It ain't really like I'm not really no club type person. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I probably yeah, yeah. go to the club probably. Two, three times a year. Yeah, for sure. So. Hell yeah. Nigga, I don't remember last time I've been to the club, though. I was just, I got mad going that bitch because I was tired of saying, excuse me. And yeah, nigga bumping just, into you and my shit. My nigga. But that, you, that's the only thing, though. When I go home, it's hard. Yeah. Because like, yeah. I be really wanting to get out and see the city. Hell yeah. But at the same time, I, I don't. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck, fuck the, the COVID. Like, you know, I think, it's, it's other shit going on in the streets right see, now. See, that's, that's the crib for you, but I think everybody. When the COVID hit, though, niggas from Detroit was going that bitch every weekend. But that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you got to think about how niggas from Detroit is. Yeah. So then yeah. they out there in the streets and wilding the fuck out. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah. everybody right right now is down there because it's wild open. Hell yeah, for sure. So, like, like I said, fuck the COVID. Yeah. It's just you got these different type of people. And yeah. I said, I ain't really for the shits, bro. I got to <laughs> make it yeah. home so I can talk to my kids. So I Man. can kick it with my girl. I Hell ain't got yeah. time for Because you got two boys and a little girl. Yes, sir. Your, your little girl, the youngest. Yep, she just turned two on the yeah. first. See, I got two boys and I'm about to have a girl shit. Ooh, congratulations. December, December, early December. Like, I want to say, shit, her birthday might be the same as her big brother's. He'll be 14 on the 13th. That'll be hard for them and hard for you. Yeah. Them gifts going to be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, I'm trying to find that PlayStation 4 right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This shit, he might have to wait till next year because it ain't looking like, it ain't looking good, dog. Hey. Ain't look- now, we were talking about this shit off camera, dog. You know, you, you go to the studios, you record music, yeah. you do things up. How, how important is your time, bro? Bro, my time is damn important. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, I I just got to the point in my life where I understand when the old folks be like, time is money. Like, because, mm-hmm. like, when I go to the studio, I'm paying for this time. Yeah, for sure. Shit. Hell yeah. So, like, it, my time is really valuable, and yeah. that's really the only thing you can't really get back. I yeah. Ain't to you. Man, niggas, this, like we said, we was talking about on the on, off camera, dog. Niggas were disrespectful time, dog. Yeah. Like, doing this podcast, I see how many disrespectful niggas out here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> niggas do not even give you a heads up, dog. Bro, that's just people in general, bro. Like, man. You just always got to keep in mind, like, everybody morals and values ain't the same. Yeah. So they damn sure ain't going to morally respect Hell your time. No, man. Like, Hell no. Or value this shit. Hell no, dog. At all, dog. And I'm, I'm seeing that shit. Like, I'm about to write some shit up, like, nigga, if you late, like, there's going to be some clauses in this shit. Like, you got to hey. send me some gas money or yeah, let me ahead. know ahead of time. Nigga, send, so that, I send that fee. Yeah, so I ain't making no trip, dog. I ain't making no trip, dog. Now, I, I want to talk about competition, dog. Like, do you feel like you compete with other people by you doing what you do as far as rapping and stuff? Do you feel like everything is kind of like competition or do you look at it like, you know, I'm just doing my thing? Bro, I really just be looking at it like I'm doing me. Yeah. I really be in my own lane yeah. for real. Nah, if a nigga get to talking crazy, yeah, like, bro, yeah, yeah. I can spit, and then we can go bar for bar, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. like, and I ain't even on no battle rap type nigga, but you could break down yeah. song for song, nigga, I really be feeling like, niggas not fucking with me bar for bar, like, yeah, yeah. but that ain't for me to say, I'm always one of them niggas, like, if you gotta tell a nigga you hard, you really ain't hard, yeah. or you gotta tell a nigga you popping, like, this shit sound corny, you know what I'm saying? Dog, for me, it's like, I find like, I don't know, I find competition in things that, it's probably not even there. Right. I just hear something like, I feel like, all right, that's co- that's competition. I got to make sure I do what I do. Right. Like, I listen to other podcasts and stuff. Even with music, I be feeling like, you know, I'm, I'm good, but, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's competition. Like, if I'm in the studio with somebody, it could be my cousin, it could be my brother, right. my friend, nigga. I'm like, I got to outdo this nigga on this song. Because if anybody hears this song, I want them to be like, dog, your shit was the best. Right. 
And you know what I'm saying? That make a great song. So like even with the podcast shit, there ain't too many podcasts I listen to because like you said off camera, nigga, too many nigga shit be like gen just generic, like super extra written down like hello how are you like <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's why you was on the connected experience and shit yeah then my guys shout sj out to aj and shit yeah and they shit like i've been listening to a couple of they shit they shit straight like like it's just a conversation bro i love going to see them like i told you like they make you look at shit different and like yeah. the type of person that i am like i said i ain't no competitive person i'm more of like they told me not to use the word motivated i'm more yeah. of an inspired person so like yeah. if you inspire me yeah. i'm just gonna go harder off mm -hmm. of that shit like so mm -hmm. when i talk to them it's always they always giving me games they some cool dudes some yeah they're gonna be on the show i'm gonna be on their show we already talked about it shit man it's gonna be dope I'm telling you they, they're some good brothers hell real. yeah but yeah though i look at i look at everybody like competition I, I just try to make sure mine stand out yeah you know what i'm saying so like i see why people say they don't listen to like a lot of rappers like Cause they want to make sure they don't sound like somebody else or whatever. Right. With the podcast space, I don't really listen to that many people podcasts. Like, cause for the most part, like I'm not talking shit, but a lot of that shit be, it be trash. Like, <laughs> it just be like, dog, it just seems like everything is written down. Like, I write shit down, but it's like, hello, like, hello, yeah, buddy, it's, how it's are you? Line like, for line. Yeah, and with they shit, the one thing I did like about they shit is like, it's just a conversation piece. Like, it's like we in it, we like right now, we kicking it. Yeah. And that's how it shit sound like you, you're kicking it and they spend a little knowledge because, you know what I'm saying? They got a little growth and they be talking about their little shit. Yeah. I got a couple questions to ask niggas as far as they all come up, but Man. I heard a story about the nigga said he thought he had a reason why his dad went to jail because some shit he did. He mm. did. Yeah. They definitely got some stories for your ass. Hell like, yeah. Hell they yeah. It really be, it be facts too. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, dog. So that you, so you say you don't look at nobody as like competition. You just do your thing. No, like, like I said, I don't look at nobody as competition. If anything, I get inspired by what I see. Yeah. So like, like, but I guess you could call it competition. Like, if we in a, if we in a session together and mm -hmm. you record it, I ain't gonna say like I gotta make sure my shit go harder than yours because I really just want a, a hard song. Yeah. So like, really, I just be making sure that like something about my shit stick out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, if y'all watching this and y'all see like usually the camera angles go back and forth, we right here on one yeah, camera. No, no producer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga upstairs doing his shit, but we still gonna make it a good show, man. Shout out to Um. Yeah, cause right now we will still be waiting and shit, motherfucker. I already <laughs> drunk all the liquor and shit, goddamn it. <laughs> But, but I gotta go worse. So I shouldn't be drinking that much. Though. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of that, with competition and stuff like that, do you be feeling like you got a point to prove for niggas who didn't believe? Hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like when I first started, yeah, I had a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, like, and I still kind of got a chip on my shoulder because there's a lot of people that I feel like, yeah, yeah, like you know, it's a lot of people when we was younger. Like, I want to be a rapper. I want to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. So then they put the stigma on rapping that like everybody want to just try to do it and basketball. Off, you know what I'm saying? There's all these memes yeah. that like how long do you support your man rapping career? Like that shit make yeah. you feel away. Hell yeah. So then I really be feel like when you turn my shit on. Like I want you to see like this shit just ain't rapping. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's an art form to this shit. It's yeah, a, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Play on words. Like I'm really getting nasty on that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure, dog. But and you like if I think you should always make it like you got a point to prove on that. Cause that's when you get that hunger. Yeah. That's when you hear that motherfucking shit when you can hear it on a song, like, nigga, not only do I'm I might give you a story, but I'm about to prove to anybody who thought nigga, this yeah. shit might have been trash or you know what I'm saying? I'm Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm somebody to deal with for, for real. For sure. Hell yeah. Cause like I said, I podcast music, same shit. Like yeah. I remember first starting and I'm like, dog, this shit. Like looking at if, do you ever look at your first like recordings and shit now and you be like, dog, what the shit fuck? Shit don't even come close. <laughs> but I also know that like I like I like leaving that type of stuff out there. Cause some people will go back and just delete everything. Yeah. Like, I like leaving that shit out there because I I want people to see my growth. Yeah. Cause, like my whole brand is to not give up. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Hell like yeah. no matter what. And Cause I heard Nip say before, the only thing he did different than somebody that didn't make it is he ain't give up. Yeah. You gon' you gon' sound trash at the beginning. Some shit sure. ain't gonna work out. Yeah. Shit, some motherfuckers ain't gonna like you when you at your best. Yeah. But as long as you don't give up, anything you stay consistent at, this shit gonna yeah. fall through. Man, cause I heard my first, I heard my first show, dog. <laughs> that shit was funny. Like everything about it was funny, dog. Like it just wasn't no structure. It was just like, but you gotta take that that attempt. You gotta take that that leap. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about doing a podcast for fucking. A year and a half before I did. Yeah, that, and that be the thing. Like I was talking about doing music shit since I was young. Like one of my homeboys hit me up today. Like, bro, I thought you was joking. This back in high school, mm -hmm. I told him like, if I don't finish college, bro, yeah. I'm just gonna rap. Yeah, yeah. And, like I used to be saying this shit in a joking yeah. way, but it's yeah, crazy yeah. how shit happened. And niggas gotta watch what they speak because shit. Man. It's called manifestation. Man, man, hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure, dog. So man, you know, you got the project, man. For it's, sure. it's on the flow too, man. On the flow too. You you, you released it today, today, twenty yep. third, motherfucking November and shit. For sure. 
what what made you release on a Monday? Like, you know what I'm saying? Usually niggas be doing for Friday shit, all that stuff. It's that date, bro. Like, yeah. I'll show you. Like, this shit ain't no cap. Yeah. I'm taking this off to show you. All right. On the inside of this motherfucker, the date right there. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's that? 23. That's the day I met my girl. Okay, the okay. Date, the date. Oh, shit. Of... So, yeah, this is a celebration for real. Yeah, shit. Like, Damn, I, I was just toasted. I ain't got no. You feel me? I call this shit happy. Uh, it's on the flow day. Like, yeah. Today just was a day I felt like I wanted to just. Feel that I wanted to feel love like I yeah. felt shit a yeah. year ago. Yeah, like, you yeah, feel for me? Sure. Like yeah, I didn't yeah. want this day to stick out and always stick out. Yeah. So like I ain't really give a fuck if it was a Monday. Like, like I said, nobody was looking for me to drop. Yeah. Like this yeah. ain't it, nowadays people don't even do rollouts and shit. No, no they, they, they just, just drop it, shit. Yeah, so just, like, you know what I'm saying? Do a couple of little shit on, on Instagram, social media yeah, and shit. Yeah, so like the way I think about it, like, fuck it, I'm gonna get y'all music. Mm -hmm. And right now I think I think we need music right now. Like Hell yeah. nigga need a theme song. Like they need <laughs> theme music right now. For sure. Cause right now we just getting a whole lot of like club bangers and ain't even no clubs open. Yeah, hell yeah. So it's so, kinda hard, yeah, for sure. No, nah, I need I needed to put something out that touch everybody like Yeah. And you could tell like you was just you was you was speaking the heart on this on this project. Yeah. And shit like that, like stuff you was going through, yeah. you were putting out there for niggas. Do you know what I'm saying here? Yeah, and that, and that and that was another thing. Like the more and more, like I said, I'm not a super spiritual person. Yeah, but I'm spiritual enough to like be aware of like what be going on. Hell so yeah. like I believe everything happened for a reason. Oh yeah, nigga, that's a fact. So like when I start playing around, like all right, I want to drop a tape on this on this day. Yeah. Then also like I found out like this month was like mental awareness. Month. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. and then all the shit that I was going through was yeah. shit playing on my mind. Hell yeah. It's like. Some shit made me want to stop making music. Man. Some shit made me want to go harder. Like, yeah. shit, I lost my granddad. Like, it was a whole lot of shit that where it's like mentally, I needed to be doing something Duh, constructive. If your mental space fucked up, man, everything gonna be fucked up. Hell yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie, the lowest point in my life, dog, was when I was staying in Texas, dog. Don't nobody know about this shit, dog. Like, it's like, nigga, one point I was thinking to myself, like, dog, like, if I wasn't, if I wasn't here, like, who would give a fuck? But then if you think like that, it's kind of selfish because I had a son. Mm -hmm. So nigga, he gonna give a fuck, like. Right. But it was, too, it was so bad, like. Nigga, the money wasn't coming in. Relationship wasn't right. I'm not with my family. So, like, dog, this shit, like, I'm waking up every day to, like, I know what the fuck I'm waking up to. Like, right. oh, some bullshit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I done definitely been in those spaces where, like, fuck the waking up part. Like, yeah. nigga, it was for nights I couldn't even go to sleep. Like, nigga. I got anxiety to the point, like, I can't go to sleep. And if I go to sleep, I wake up in a panic. Yeah. So, like. I, I really was going through some shit and I just yeah. I really needed something constructive to do yeah, yeah, so yeah. shit why not do what you love hell yeah what was some shit that was making you you know what I'm saying be in that space like, like I said, talk I, about it I was staying with my granddad yeah. at the time cause I knew like he was older yeah 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 and for like sure. I'm one of the grandkids that like I ain't gonna say one of them I'm the grandkid that he like <laughs> yeah. hey he can do everything like, yeah 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 you got those call. I don't give a yeah. fuck if I stayed downtown and yeah. he stayed and West Bloomfield, yeah. like he gonna call me so I can come play yeah. his lottery. Yeah, yeah. So why not stay there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I stayed there with him, mm -hmm. and with me staying there, like and shit, just we got stupid close. Yeah. And August seventh, before I drop the date, the day before I drop, it's on the floor to Deluxe. Yeah. I found out my my granddad had stage four lung cancer. Oh shit, man! Sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah. Cause that shit, nigga, that. the house we at right now, my grandma, same thing. Yeah. She had lung cancer. It was that stage four shit. Then like spread to the bone. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. So yeah. like. Uh, like I said on the August seventh, my parent, my my dad and his siblings had a conference call with the doctors and everything. Yeah. And they told them yeah. that it was nothing they could really do. Nigga, at all. You feel me? But I then know. it's different because my granddad just want to get back to the crib. He yeah. didn't even fuck with the hospital. <laughs> yeah, so sure. every day I'm watching this shit and knowing that like yeah. any any Nigga. day now, you know what I'm saying? That shit terrible, bro. So like that, that shit, shit just mentally yeah. had me fucked up. Like you really can't just fall asleep. You really yeah. can't. Hell yeah. Or, or you just trying to stay away from the crib because you don't want to be there when yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but, shit, yeah, yeah, I already know. Yeah, so mentally that shit was playing on me, and then yeah. like I said, my daughter just moved to Atlanta, yeah. and I'm here. Yeah, so yeah, you missing your motherfucking seed, yeah, like, especially like your I, little girl. It's your little girl. Yeah, I'm my only girl. Yeah, and like so that, and then I talked about on the uh, on the connected experience. Like I've been on probation for. Damn yeah. it, three years now. Yeah, I heard that. I, I listen to that shit. So yeah. technically, I ain't even supposed to be moving around the way I'm moving around. Yeah, but yeah. the way I feel, like, bro, I yeah. did everything y'all asked me. Y'all yeah, won't let me sure. off because of the pandemic. Yeah, man. L watching that little meat meal shit, dog. That that shit, like, you you talk to with them, man. That shit, it be some bullshit, bro. It be some bullshit, bro. And, one, and people don't be understanding. And that's why I am the way I am. Like, <laughs> I can't really go to the club because if the wrong nigga step on my shoe and disrespect <laughs> yeah. me, I can go straight to jail. I can't yeah. really be out no, at that's, night that's fact. moving around because the way I move around to make sure that I'm protected. And yeah. I make it home to my kids That shit can give me years Nigga for real so, I know this nigga I working with Saying like He can't even have like This tool 
that and we use that word because it, it's it's almost like it's like a gun. It's like a, yeah, it's like a weapon. So if, it, if he get pulled over, nigga, he can get locked up for having something that's not a gun. Yeah, but it look like a gun. Bro, it's, it's deeper than that. Like fuck, fuck the gun shit. Like I I know for a fact I ain't supposed to have. Oh a yeah, gun. for Everybody sure. Yeah, know that yeah shit. we know that. Yeah. And if hey, but I, you know you rather get caught with it than without it. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm talking about shit like I can go back to jail for five to six years right now if I get a, a, a speeding ticket. Man. Cause that's technically me violating yeah, my your, probation, yeah. and I've done everything they asked me to do. But because of the wild. pandemic and yeah. the courts being closed, I gotta wait on another motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. How long? Nah. How long you on probation? How but much? I'm supposed to be off right now. Oh shit! Damn. That's what I'm saying. Like so. Yeah. So even now, is you will be off if you get if something happened knock on wood. You can you can get back. I at least got to go through the process. I at least got to go to jail. Yeah. I at least got to get arraigned. I at least got to go sit in front of a judge for the yeah. judge to tell. Even me. though you're not even supposed to be on, on I'm that not even shit. supposed to be on probation. So no. let me ask you this, dog. It might be a stupid question, but I don't know because I ain't never been in the system, dog. When you off pro probation, like, do that clear your name? When you off probation, like, like, no, yeah, you got oh, a record. Can you, you still now afterwards? Can you still get in trouble for any little thing, even though you off probation? Nah, like once you off probation, yeah. it ain't like if I get pulled over and have police contact, I can go to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. It's it's once you get pulled over and this mm. shit your record gonna show up yeah, they yeah, gonna treat you a little bit yeah gonna, yeah sure, exactly yeah yeah man I can damn I'm gonna see I know I'm glad that I never got tied into nothing that you know yeah. to lead to that situation dog but I can only see like or un understand that nigga that's some bullshit you can you know it's some bullshit dog the shit that you see niggas be on probation for fucking 13 10 15 yeah. years you know that what shit really be like a setback yeah dog. oh yeah for sure because it, it, it especially like I said that's a whole mental fuck yeah. like. Nigga, being, first of all, having a record or being on probation, yeah. the shit make you feel like you're a whole nother race. Like, yeah. nigga, like, you got black, white, and then you got a nigga that's probably yeah. a felon. Like, nigga, you look that's sure. totally nigga, different. Hell yeah. And then you got to be like, dog, you got to be mindful of everything. Like, if you come to somebody's crib and or you get in somebody's car and they got a pistol in the car mm -hmm. and he get pulled over, you going to be in you trouble. Fucked. Okay, you going to say you shouldn't have been with that nigga. Yep, you fucked. If you come over here and niggas got weed, whatever, and somebody come in here and Kicking the door for some reason, you fuck. Yeah, like say I came over here and I didn't even know because this ain't no regular talk that niggas be having. Like, yeah. hey, what up, bro? You a felon? I'm a felon too. All right. Yeah. We shouldn't be around each other. Yeah. Like, no, we ain't having them talks. You yeah. cool? I'm cool. But yeah. let's say this motherfucker get raided right now. Yeah. I'm a felon. You a felon. We can go to jail for just being yeah. around. Like, I ain't got time for that shit. Like, that shit. But, you know, right now I'm in, I'm in on some other shit and I ain't even in those yeah, type yeah, of yeah, situations for, sure. for me Hell to yeah. get locked up. But, and I'm really looking at ways to, you know, get my shit expunged. So yeah, because uh, man, that's why I say the system, man, it is it, it, there for you to continue to get it's fucked a up, cycle. And continue to get in trouble because you get out of jail, but you gotta worry about being in jail. Then you go to jail, you gotta worry about paying these monthly fees. But what if a job don't hire me, or what if mm -hmm. I ain't got enough money? Like, how can you survive paying bills and still paying back, uh, paying back some shit, and you ain't gave me your however many years of time? You know what I'm saying? That shit. I don't understand Bro, that shit I never understood that shit And I damn sure don't understand When a motherfucker go and do years in jail And then you come home and have a record That you can't do nothing with your life Yeah So yeah. like I might as well just stayed in jail nigga. Yeah like, And you wonder why niggas go back to jail Because you ain't went to a job interview And you got marked down that you a felon Or you uh -huh. been in prison You feel me And they ain't gonna give you a job So yeah. now you gotta take some bullshit job Making bullshit money And you know what I'm saying One thing lead to the next dog So yeah. That shit, that's just some, that's some bullshit, dog. Hey, that's why shit, man. You gotta turn up and put it on the floor. Hell yeah, man. So you already know, man. Whenever you come on this bitch, we talk about. I heard the song. I was at work, so I couldn't get too many bars. <laughs> but I got enough of them bitches, dog. We gonna talk about it, and you tell me what you was thinking about, dog. For sure. You can give, you can give them TLC, but I bet they still creep. Oh shit. <laughs> that's it. And that nigga, before you say it, that's it. The truth, dog, because you got to, you to play on the word. TLC, yeah, tend, you know, saying what is it, tender, tender love, love care, and care yeah. yeah, and then you got TLC made the song creep and yeah. I creep, right. creep, you know, what I'm saying creeping on the down low and shit, nobody gotta know, but that's some shit that we all go through, dog. I think men and females, you For know, sure. what I'm saying you give a nigga everything or you give a female everything and shit, a nigga still might. Still fucking, might step up. Fuck like, your heart, nigga. Like, <laughs> that's why, like, that, that's where my mind was at when I said it. Like, it just. You can't really worry about that shit. Yeah, like, hell yeah. I really think that like sometimes being just carefree is the key to being happy. Hell yeah. Like, cause what can you do about it? Nothing, dog. And I, I, I said that on the last tape, on the deluxe version. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Mm -hmm. I control what I can. I accept what I can't. Yeah. Like I live by that shit now. Yeah, so like, that's the truth. You can give a motherfucker TLC. I bet it they'll still creep, <laughs> dog. And that's the crazy thing about it, dog. That's when the trust come into the part. For sure. Because you gotta be able to trust your girl because. At a certain age, you don't want to have to go through phones and do this shit Man, and question. You know what I'm saying? Because 
that right there already show that you already got too much trust in them. So you just gotta put the trust in and be and just pray that you and find the right one that you ain't even gotta go through all that shit, dog. And like like my girl done taught me like, and like not saying that that's one of our problems, but she always tell me like, no matter what happened with us, like I know that I stayed so solid that like. Even if you fuck it up, yeah. I can walk away from this shit. Cause it, I dog, stay somebody else told me that shit, bro. Like, you ain't mad because you fucked up. You fucked up. Like, so I can stay. Like, I was solid the whole time. Now, now you can say that, but, nigga, you got to be a little pissed off at her, though, though. No, no, no. You're going to be you gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be mad, but that that anger, instead of having pride at, oh, we're going to stick together so I can get you back. Yeah. No, you just yeah. move the fuck on. Hell like, yeah. Because sure. I, I stay solid, nigga. You're going to miss out on me. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. So do it ever, like, if some if something happened, like, like or in the past, like, did it ever make you be like, you know what? From now on, it's, 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 fuck, it's fuck these chicks. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Bro, them. I'm and, good. And I got to make sure to say this shit because I love my girl to death. It mm. was never a situation with me and her. Yeah. It was just me reflecting oh, on. No, no, yeah, for sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, on things that I've been through, and that's where it came from. Yeah. I done dealt with girls, and I, like, stupid lost respect and trust for them for shit that I've yeah. seen them do. Or I, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. I done mess with a girl yeah. and seen what they was doing to another nigga. Mm -hmm. So I already know, like this nigga yeah. blowing up your phone, but you sitting right here with dog. me, like, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck? Man, hell yeah, you got too, and that's dog. That happened too, too much, dog. That you could sit here and be either you messing with somebody and they, and they fucking over you, or you messing with a chick that's fucking over somebody. Right. I ain't seen that shit. I'm like, damn, like this, this fucked up for real, like. And really, and really, just on some, you know, free game shit. Like when you messing with a chick and she got a nigga and she messing with you. Mm -hmm. You should already know that ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere at all. You know that's what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's, it's, it, that's yeah. very rare that it goes somewhere. Yeah, I know a couple of them. Yeah, they, yeah like, <laughs> And you just, like, back your mind, like, damn, this this, this, this motherfucker fucked up. But when you so young, you can see, you're not giving a fuck. Nah, you when just, you young, that shit, you going for the thrill for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, oh, shit, man. You think that shit funny. You yeah. Like, but really, bro, you you don't want that shit. You don't want to be on the other end of that shit, so you shouldn't yeah. put out that energy. Because that's some shit that we got, dog, that we talk about on the show now. That uh, we incorporate on the show, dogs called "Young Nigga Thinking" versus some shit I've been through. Oh, for sure. So what's some what's some young nigga thinking that you had, but you ain't been through some shit and changed your whole way of thinking about that? Shit. Like on some comedy it's shit. So much. Yeah, because like, on some comedy shit, when you a little nigga, you be like, "Dog, I ain't gonna never eat no pussy." Oh yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you know what I'm sure. saying? Because you 18, 17, the old homie, the older homies, yeah. the uncles, cousins, you like, nah, fuck that. But you get older, you be like, "Yo, that's some young nigga shit." Man, yeah, like. And I remember them days, like, you they used to be laughing in class, like, eating pussy. Hell yeah. Like, nah, niggas eating ass. <laughs> nigga, that, that's y'all thing now, like, you feel me? But, like, mine, mine as a young nigga was that type of thing, like, feeling mm -hmm. like I can control everything. Like, yeah. when the truth is, bro, you can't be everywhere at the same time. Hell and if no. a motherfucker gonna do some shit, they gonna do some shit. Yeah. So, the way I think about it now is, shit, I gotta just do what I know is right. Yeah. Or what I think is right. And you know what I'm saying? Move how I want to move or yeah. how I want to be perceived. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that way, can't nothing ever come back on me. Like, yeah, you got to yeah. let a person be who the fuck they going to be. Yeah, yeah, If she yeah. a hoe, she going to be a hoe. Yeah. If he yeah. a hoe-ass nigga, he going to be a hoe-ass <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Like, you can't dog, control that. Some young nigga thinking is like, me cheating, and then like, you know saying? Hell yeah, shit. She got a nigga, I got a girl, we ain't got to worry about, yeah, you know what I'm like, saying? Worry about shit. For what, bro? But really, you got to worry about some shit, dog, because yeah. I ain't going to name the time, and I ain't going to name the place, but dog. I remember I was doing a little bullshit, though. I was young. Not, with, not my wife. Not with you, if you're watching. <laughs> but I remember, dog. And I was on some bullshit, dog. Like, you know, I ain't going to say who, dog. But I was messing with this chick. I'm, I'm talking about I went to her her crib. Right. I'm kicking it. Just to find out, this motherfucker married. Nigga, you put my life in, on and the danger. line. <laughs> like, you are in If this nigga danger. come in the crib and see me sitting here chilling. And he got every right to shoot you. Dog. I'm in his crib, bro. And niggas are trying to play it like, bro, you gonna kill a nigga over a girl, bro? You in this nigga crib? Dog, you in his crib, bro? He like, probably was at work, nigga. Yes. <laughs> like, this nigga, so I'm in this bitch laying down like this no. nigga. I'm just thinking about all the ways I could have died, nigga. Like that's what I'm saying. When you get older, bro, the, I don't know. Some niggas don't, but I just know I done got to a place where like I be doing a lot of reflecting yeah. and I be doing a whole lot of unlearning other yeah. than learning. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And I just be learning like, and I be thinking. This shit ain't cool. Yeah. Like, the, the certain shit that niggas be on, it just ain't cool to me. Man, that shit, like I said, that shit, looking back, that's a scary situation, nigga. My yeah. life could be over at fucking 22. It's because I want to fuck it. I'm like, you know, now you got to look at it like, 
Now I'm not, you know, saying telling people to fuck around, and do what they do. But if you messing with a, a a chick or a female, or whatever, you gotta be mindful of where you going, bro. Yeah. Like a girl can set you up, dog. In a in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't paying no fucking attention because well, you just trying to get some ass, dog. Yeah, like, you thinking you know with saying? your other head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thinking with the wrong head, for dog. Sure, for sure. And you fuck around, and get your head blew back, nigga. Yeah, like, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. That's another thing of thinking like a. Hold on, hold on. Shout out to the producer. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Touchdown. <laughs> This is the first time, hey, this is the first time in, in history we already said it, dog, that nigga has been early <laughs> and the producer that live here <laughs> has been late, dog. Hey, hey I, I understand. <laughs> hey, hopefully, hopefully everything we said, nigga, was recorded. Because that would be fun, dog. <laughs> we in there. But yeah, no, you got to worry about these motherfucking females a lot, dog, because, like, you, nigga, you get there, you nigga, you, you dead, nigga, like, on some Robert. bullshit. I didn't got robbed by some females, so I understand. Damn, like yeah. on some sad shit. I guess you can call it that. Like I literally got set up and drugged by a car, by like four or five females. Damn, how the fuck that happened? Huh? Like shit, being on Joy Road. Dog, <laughs> <laughs> dog, man, hell no, dog. Yeah. Well, you here, nigga? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you went through it. That's another story to tell your motherfucking nah. life. And maybe I tell it, maybe I won't. Because, <laughs> dog, dog, like I said, that day, and you know how, how I found out, dog, the way, the way I found out that this girl's married, uh, shout out to St. Andrew's Club, dog. We at St. Andrew's and shit, and I see her with my ex. Mm. So my ex, I'm like, what up, what up, what up? You know what I'm saying? And she put me to the side. No, she hit me up the next day, like, how you know such and such? I'm like, this is some chick I'm fucking around with. You know what I'm saying? This is my I'm cool with. You know she married, right? I'm like, she married? Like, fuck out of here. Like, I'm for real, she married. So, heads up to her for giving me that, that game. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Because she had to tell me that shit. You my she ex. She saved your life. Yeah. So, I hear her like, dog, you married? She's like, yeah, but you know, ain't like that. Like, no, you married, nigga. What the like, fuck does that even mean? <laughs> you married. So, I can't I can't fuck with you, man. Because I can imagine right now, I'm doing a show with my nigga buddy and shit. I go home and see motherfucking Craig in the crib, dog. My auntie called him Sport Coat. <laughs> <laughs> dog, this nigga <laughs> say Sport Coat, nigga. Like, <laughs> dog, for real, nigga. You and that bitch... Going to the club, having a good time, nigga. Sport coat coming right onto the crib, dog. That's why I say, bro. They ain't got to put out that energy that they want back. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. So you know what I'm saying. The next one you got. This kind of go what we talking about. You had bar said try to keep try to keep me when I was down, like they trying to stunt me. Now fuck them two two at a time, like they trying to jump me. For sure. <laughs> go ahead and talk about that, dog. Because nigga will kick you when you down, nigga. Yeah, like and that's easy to do it too. When when you see when. For whatever reason, niggas go with the trend. Yeah. So just like now, if a motherfucker see you up, mm -hmm. they on the bandwagon. Yeah. But when I was down, Hell yeah. it was a whole lot of motherfuckers just trying to stump me, kick no. me. <laughs> motherfucker, you, hold on, watch out. Let me get one of them in. Like, one of those situations. <laughs> And nigga like uh what that movie dog don't be a man sound such yeah, while you're niggas was doing a ring around the rosy you know, nigga it'd be, like, it'd be like that like nigga was in the wheelchair dog but yeah yeah and I, I mean when you do, when you the one down shit that's how I feel for sure yeah. like every little thing feel like a motherfucker kicking hell yeah and so for me I ain't gonna lie um it was it was a few females I felt like was stomping yeah. on a nigga name for real yeah but well, now yeah. shit we we <laughs> at the hell same time oh yeah niggas yeah niggas a female will stomp on your name dog. And then, like, nigga, that's one thing I learned. That's some young nigga shit. When you break up with somebody, let that shit be broken up. You ain't got a bad mouth that person. Yeah, that shit alone. That shit just didn't work out between y'all two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I don't even. I try not to even talk about past relationships. Nigga, hold on. Dog, my, me, my son, mom, dog. That shit was like a war of wars, nigga. A word of wars on Facebook when you broke up, nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> See, I ain't even trying to do all that. Like, <laughs> she that bitch bashing me, like. I remember well, she at, had my password, nigga, and bashing me as me. On your page. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Like, I ain't shit. Like, I ain't write this. Like, what the fuck? Like I said, I'm just, I'm just at a place where, like, I don't really give a fuck what people think about me. Yeah. Like, I ain't saying that I want them to perceive me in a bad way. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, like, I gotta do right now. I feel like this is where everybody should be, especially in these times of the yeah. world. Yeah, you yeah. should be doing what make you happy, bro. Like you yeah. can't really worry about nigga. like how that shit going. Especially older you get, though. Yeah, like, cause it means shit. Like I said, cause if you ain't happy, fuck make anybody else happy. If you how ain't happy, you dog. Do it? If you, if you ain't happy, you ain't nobody happy ain't around. Nobody you. happy. You gonna you gonna fucking sabotage everything that's around you Hell just yeah. not being happy. Like, cause hurt people hurt people. You Hell see? yeah. Hell so, yeah. So, shit, like I said, and that and that's where I was at mentally on that shit. I just felt like a lot of people at, at a point was stumping on my motherfucking yeah. name Hell or yeah. shunning me or doubting me. Yeah. And then, you know, when that was shit turning around, yeah. some of them saying people be trying to be in the picture, but Hell it ain't yeah. that. Hell yeah, they got all them videos. Like, like dancing the shit and shit. Good night and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Hell yeah. So, this, and this is 
shit, the next one, dog. You said, I know I should have questioned God, but I'm asking him why. When you do that shit, dog, like, even though we know, like, people gonna leave this earth, mm -hmm. people gonna die, that's the that's the song that your granddad was in, stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, it'd be a lot of times you do gotta question God, dog. Like, what's some other shit that you question God on that didn't have to maybe, maybe do with death? Like, it with your granddad, you know he was sick, but sometimes you could question God with that. Like, wow, like, why my granddad? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Why well, me? At that time, just not the death part, but why now, though? Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, I done went through a part of my life where I was eight when we left Detroit mm -hmm. and moved to Georgia. Yeah. And I wasn't around my grandparents and shit that whole time until yeah, I turned 20. Yeah, so you 20. got live catching up you was doing. So when I caught up, you know what I'm saying? I'm tomorrow, I'm living with them, so we kicking it every day. Like this, my this like one of my niggas on the street. Mm -hmm. Like my granddad, shit, he a shooting nigga by yeah, me. Like, hell yeah, hell so yeah. like, why now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And more so too, when I said, um, I know I shouldn't question God, but I'm asking him why. Yeah. The next line was, um, we gonna ride to the wheels fall off, but I'm but I'm tired. I want to yeah. give up on this music, but I know that I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. it was more so like I've been questioning like, why why is this my purpose, or why do I feel like this is my purpose to yeah. make this music? Hell yeah. Even though we shouldn't ask no questions. Like, yeah, you should, but you always got that in the back of your mind. Yeah, because that's just like niggas in the war. Like you can't tell me when they was out there looking for something a lot, and yeah. they ask like, why the fuck is we still yeah. looking for this nigga, bro? <laughs> why like, fuck we doing this shit though? Yeah, like, I I be want to know, but at the yeah. same time, you know, you just gotta have faith and keep pushing. On some wild shit though, nigga, like. How you think like slaves was thinking back in the day? Like, dog, why the fuck is it? Why why we black? Why we gotta be black? Why we gotta be in this situation? Exactly. Like, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, they dealt with a lot of shit, bro. Like, that's why I don't like slave movies because I, I feel like it's way more shit that they missing out on to tell us. I don't like slave movies. I don't like slave movies, like, but just stop painting that picture, yeah, bro. But it's like everybody wasn't no whole ass slave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but then, <laughs> but then if you show the person that wasn't a whole ass slave, like the Nat Turner situation, yeah, you got to yeah. show them dying. So like, I don't want to see that shit true, either. That's true. Me? That's true. At this point, it's more stories to be told. Oh yeah, I don't want to see not another slave movie at all. You know, what if I'm it's gonna be a slave <laughs> movie, let it turn out to be the slave movie that show us the nigga that made peanut like, butter. <laughs> like, yeah. let it be like you know what I'm saying. Show yeah. us Frederick Douglass. Like, yeah. nigga, stop showing me these same. Yeah. Oh my god, master. Like, get the yeah, fuck out of man, here, bro. Like, I'm not trying to see that shit. And then, like, you got the Django. That was a good movie. But then you think about Samuel Jackson. That nigga was that motherfucker. Super slave. That nigga was. Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> super slave number nigga. one. That nigga was like. That nigga on the horse, like he was mad. He was jealous of Who my nigga, that on the horse. nigga on that neck. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad, like, huh? I'm in this house. This nigga on the horse, and then yeah, just I love that him. movie, but yeah, I, I that shit was long. I'm, I'm straight on the slave. Yeah, shit. that shit was long as hell. Give dog. me a black version of Wolf of Wall Street. Let hell me yeah. let me play that nigga. Dude. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. You ever thought about doing some movies though? Man, with your I really want to do that. Like that, that, I really want to get into that shit. So like yeah. anybody, even the Detroit movies that be being made, yeah. buffed up and shit. Give yeah. your boy a roll. Yeah, shout out to uh, I had uh, Thomas L. Harris on his bitch from Buffed Up Dog, the nigga who was. Like his Ohio bitch and shit like that, <laughs> but I'm gonna ask you because I asked him that dog. We we was talking about we talking about death and shit like that. We talking about relationships, dog. In your life, ha how many have have going to funerals outweigh going to weddings? Uh, hell yeah. That's just sad, bro. It is, but I just take it as like, cause I don't really go to neither one. <laughs> yeah. For real, for real, but. Yeah. Like when it's a family member or some shit, yeah. or it's somebody that you with and they lose somebody, yeah. I feel like it's only right that you go and show your respect. Hell yeah. But far as weddings and shit, I really don't see too many weddings happening. Yeah. And like, I mean, yeah. who knows why? That, I really feel like social media be killing so many relationships that like. Nigga. And what? like I said, niggas, I just maybe back in the day the shit was more kept under wraps, which I know it was. Cause yeah. you have a granddad <laughs> that stayed on one street. And he got five kids on another street yeah. with another lady, so I know this shit was happening. Yeah, yeah. But in this damn age, I just feel like people Nigga, just too much disrespectful shit. and don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's bro. too much shit on fucking social media, dog. Like everybody gotta know what the fuck going on. Yeah. And you gotta put everything out there, like nigga. You already know when somebody breaking up with somebody, they putting that shit out. Yeah. There. Or you know they going through a hard time. Or pictures. like I said, it's just niggas that don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like today, your girl could post a picture of you and her. Hell yeah. And it's gonna be five niggas to slide in her shit. Like <laughs> hell yeah. For what, what up, dog? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Why you just can't? Hell shit yeah. Shit the fuck back, bro. Hell yeah. But I mean, bro. then again, like I said, that's some more young nigga shit that nigga used to be on. So. Hell yeah. So you got one, like I said, man, I I, 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 wanted, I didn't want to text you this because I was going to text you this. I wanted to say in your face, like, dog, this project was dope as hell. Mm. And I ain't saying that just because you on the show, like, nigga, that shit was real hard. Like, I think this is your best project so far. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can hear, like, you can hear the pain. You can hear what you're talking about, shit like that. And you said on, uh, on, on, the, on the Connected Experience, like, you feel like, you 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 found your you found your style and shit like that on the yeah. last project. Yeah. So you could just see that shit growing and building. So shit, salute you for this. You know what I'm saying? Project. Bro, I shit. appreciate that. Shit. Oh yeah, like, for sure. For real, for real. And hopefully niggas listen to it. Don't be no whole ass niggas, man. Like if you gonna bump a nigga, I feel like if you gonna bump a nigga, 
Like say for instance, uh, fucking uh, Jeezy album just came out. If you gonna bump him, you know what I'm saying, a lot, and you don't know this dude, but your homeboy or somebody you know is dope, bump that nigga too. Yeah. Don't give him one listen and then be like, you dope, but then don't go back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I, I ain't gonna lie, like, as far as my music, this this tape for show, sure. it's content for show. Sure. And I ain't even make it that long for the simple fact that, like, for most of the shit y'all gonna see, it's gonna be visuals to go with it. Yeah. And, like, I'm independent. I ain't gonna sit here and try to act like a nigga just got it through the roof and yeah, trying to spend sure. it all on that. Like, I'm giving you visuals with these shits because they damn near, when you hear them, they yeah. damn near give you a visual. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, like, I really just want people to, to listen. This time, I made sure that it was quality over quantity. For oh, yeah, real. for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You got one bar that's funny, dog. <laughs> you said, try to knock me off beat like Silver Shocker. <laughs> you got to know it's just it's on the flow just like a rocker. Yeah. Silver Shocker was an off beat ass nigga, dog. Yeah, he nigga was never on beat like. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck was going on. Like that he was the just, first blue face. And yeah, motherfuckers don't really get that shit. That nigga was just rapping, bro. Like it's like he didn't hear the beat. That nigga was just that bitch like without the headphones, just rapping. Just like, rapping. Like and and then they up. put the beat on yeah. after that nigga. Or they like turn the beat on, but I don't want to hear it. Yeah, but like I really, I really, I really had to use that shit because I really like I got a Master P shirt on right now. Yeah. I really grew up on that no limit shit. Hell yeah, shit. nigga, they the ones who had the. They made you want to buy the CD yeah. for the cover. You know why I say like they they put me in the mind of like what I'm trying to be on. Yeah, like, that's even yeah. like the intention, the detail that I put into the cover. Like if you see the cover, I got on a suit. I'm sitting in the director's chair. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, like yeah. and that's because each song, like I said, I felt like I painted a picture. Like all these bitches can be broke down into yeah. movies for yeah. real. And that, that go to the one you say I treat my life like a business. I gotta watch my company. Yeah, like you know I, what I'm saying? I said I just felt like that was a good play on words and like the way I'm trying to move. I'm really trying to turn this shit into a business. But in yeah. in that moment of me trying to do that shit, I gotta yeah. watch my company. I gotta watch the company I keep. I gotta watch my environment. And maybe we, we was talking about competition and shit. Like, yeah. hey, you other podcast? If you gonna have a nigga on the show, you gotta know a music for sure. Don't just have that nigga for sure. For sure. When I come through, I need a nigga at least though two bars yeah. out. Like, cause nigga be like, oh that shit was dope. What song? Uh, right. Nigga be like. Uh, uh. Uh, that nigga said a song from your first project. Like, yeah, watch yeah. out, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I should lead this bitch. Like, that's why I say, like, dog, don't. Even when it comes to like, I had niggas on movies, niggas do music. I go back and listen to the shit. Like, and I'm like, let me make sure I listen to the shit. I had like, you know, I ain't gonna name names, but niggas that came with a bitch name. I tried to like the song. Mm, this shit ain't even that. <laughs> like, damn, this nigga. But see, that's why I say like. We need that one podcast though that's gonna tell a nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If I, if I drop some bullshit and yeah. this shit ain't hitting, when yeah. I come here, I, especially because I done came here and do yeah, it yeah, time, yeah, yeah. I expect y'all to tell me. <laughs> like, tell me, nigga. Like, y'all ain't gonna man. hurt my feelings. Yeah, like, at the time, I like the shit. Because you be like, nigga, you try to say it so many ways, so, nigga, what would you want? You feel me? Because like, like, I might say shit. I was on some lame <laughs> that day, nigga. Shit, this shit was crazy. Like, like, see, how long it take you to record this shit, dog? Man, on 100 shit, like, these songs, like, I probably got over 150 songs just in my phone right now. Yeah. And that's just, be that come for me, like, just sitting down and recording at the whole time, and which, like I said, it's another significance going back to my granddad. Yeah. The whole time my granddad was sick, yeah. I'm at the crib, yeah. and, like, I can't really move around like that, because yeah. I need to, you know what I'm saying, We yeah, the yeah. whole family at the crib, for real. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. just chilling with them and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. when we, like, rotating... Shifts basically. Yeah, I'm recording. Hell yeah. So I was recording at the crib. So you recording? That, that's why it sounded like that. I think like yeah, cause the like pain. I mean yeah, cause and I was and I was more so able to put my emotions into what I was saying, and then I took the shit to the studio. Yeah. So that's why when y'all see those pictures of me at uh, DJ BJ thirty five yeah. twenty five studio, yeah. that was me taking my rough drafts to the yeah. studio and just letting it all yeah. out. Hell yeah. So you got the song Thug Cry, man. Yeah. Tell me when last time you cried, not cried in front by yourself, but in front of people. A funeral. Funeral. Last time. Funeral. And you was type of nigga like like me who like you hate for a nigga to see you cry. I used to be. Yeah, that's now, it's a young nigga shit. Yeah, versus some shit I've been through. Though, tell now you. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If, I, if I'm hurting, bro, I don't give a fuck who the fuck around, nigga. Yeah. Shit, you don't judge me, nigga. Yeah, I don't fuck, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. On, nigga. Dog, the last time I cried in front of people, dog, was when I found out it was on my wedding day. But on my wedding day, we we found out the gender of my uh, baby. Mm. It was a girl, and I don't know what the fuck. It wasn't like I I intended on crying. I'm just like, dog, the, the tears just came out. Yeah, and I'm like, dog, cause I see I, I felt them bitches like, what the fuck going on? Yeah. Like everybody around me, this nigga. I'm that bitch like, oh shit, I'm trying to hold that bitch. Like, like, I found myself like, <laughs> like I said, when my granddad passed away, like yeah. literally when my granddad passed away, yeah. I was there. Yeah. And like I found myself trying not to cry. Yeah. Bro, how do you like? like yeah, how you why not? am I holding this in, bro? Yeah, like, it's my fucking granddad. Like, like and, it, and the truth <laughs> is, bro, you it's no way to hold that type of shit. In. So like, even after the fact, after the funeral and shit, yeah, it had been times where like 
like when I went down there to my daughter's birthday, yeah, uh, in the A, yeah, I got my girl with me. We had to, we had the store shopping, yeah, out of nowhere, nigga, I, I started crying, yeah, and it's just the fact that like. You you learn the significance of life. Hell yeah. Especially when you lose somebody close to you. Oh yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Like, you was was this like the closest person to you that passed away in your life? Hell yeah. Like Damn. E even my, my grand my grandma passed away yeah. in two thousand. Yeah. But you gotta think about it, like that was twenty years ago. I was only eight. Yeah, yeah. So like this person So you ain't know yeah, you knew her but you didn't really know like you I knew her to be my grandma. Yeah, but you ain't But I wasn't able to build this relationship. Yeah, like bro, yeah, I gotta Dog tag on right now with my granddad on. Hell like, yeah. That was my dog. Like, yeah, yeah. every day, this is my dog. I remember you, you on the show, you was asking about the dog tags we had. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. Dog, and I'm nigga, like, I mean, I lost so many people. It's, it's fucked up. I ain't lost so many close people that it become normal. Yeah. Like, nigga, I don't, I don't have no grandparents, and both my mom and dad passed away. Man, so, like, I'm my son, well, it's cool, dog. My son don't have no grandparents. Right. Like, on his mom's side and on my side, nigga, right. like, no grandparents. Damn. At all, nigga. So that's why I say, like, my girl right now, my wife right now, I see, I fucked up. <laughs> you don't get in trouble. Yeah. Her family played that granddad, grandma role to my son. Right. Now, I appreciate them for that because, for like sure. I said, dog, nigga, my mama, my dad, my dad passed when I was fucking 13 on my way to fucking uh, graduation, I found out. Mm. So I'm fucked up in graduation rehearsal, like, damn. Yeah. Like, this and is like crazy. I said, this, this like, shit be hitting you in the wildest time. Yeah. Like, bro, when Kobe died, nigga, like. Mm. That's another one. That's the one person that outside my family, bro. I I cried. A couple I, ain't gonna times. Lie. I, I cried on a Nipsey shit. Yeah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I did too. Yeah. It's because I had just got. I ain't gonna say I just got into him. I've been I I got hooked on Nipsey when he had dropped the uh, Hundred Out album. Mm -hmm. What was the uh, Crenshaw? Yeah. That's when I was like, dog, I'm a fan. And I said that shit. I don't know what you, but it's been podcasts. I ain't said like I started this shit off of him because like. This nigga around my age and passed away and did so much shit. Right. Why the fuck am I procrastinating on something? Yeah, and that, you know and that bro, I got it tatted TMC on me. I said yeah. this shit on the tape. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna scream TMC to the day they bury me. And that was one of the hardest lines for me to say on the tape. I never let a nigga Nipsey me. Yeah. And I ain't that ain't mean no disrespect. Yeah, no, I, no, I, no. I got the utmost respect for him. Yeah, Nip, for sure. But I just kind of feel like I can't let a nigga. And when I meant by that, I can't let niggas get that close to me where yeah. like yeah, they can just like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying because really. Nip was giving a nigga a pass. Yeah. Like, and I just feel like in this day and age, you can't get niggas yeah. passes. Cause that one nigga you give a pass. Cause like, then you say a line about the whole Coney Island um, incident. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas kill you when you standing in the car. Like nigga, that shit, dog. Like right now, you gotta be worried about everything you do. Nigga, you gotta worry about the gas station you go to. Yeah. Bro. Like you, everything gotta be a strategic move. Yeah. Like, and I and I'm the type of person that I move so strategic that like if something happened to me, you would be able to tell like. That nigga must got set up because he don't be over <laughs> yeah, there. For sure. Or like, Hell yeah. oh, this gas station, he must have really running out of gas. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, I move strategic because, yeah. like, my pops, and that's another, like, niggas don't even know that first song is called Booby Son because, like, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. pops' name. Like, yeah. I take pride in that shit. Yeah. But my dad is real. Yeah. Militant, like yeah. he don't play that. Why would you go to this gas station yeah, with your chain hell. on? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, asking for the shit. Yeah, yeah, he don't play that type of shit. So, dog, like, the one time I felt like that, bro, I tell these niggas a story, dog. My my wife was mad as fuck. I stopped at this gas station right before you get in the lodge on Eight Mile, right next to his fucking White Castles. Yeah, and it got the little green light on that bitch and everything. <sighs> Nigga, I'm in that bitch like, I'm getting money out the ATM to go to the club. I'm like, dog. What if niggas is coming to this bitch start spraying up? I ain't got nowhere to go. Nowhere. I'm dead, nigga. Like, <laughs> when you in the gas station, if you get caught up in a gas station, just like a Coney Island dog, you got nigga, it's nowhere to go. You 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 hit. Yeah, and then like it, it just that, I don't know. That, it, that Coney Island situation made like changed me th my whole thinking as far as like where to go. The crazy part when you say that Coney Island situation, it make a nigga say which one. Yeah, like, <laughs> and that's what made me put in the song. Like the shit happened like three weeks in a row. Yeah. Yeah, and my man just went that bit busting. Yeah, like this shit like, was crazy, and the crazy part, like I knew, I ain't gonna say I knew one of them people personally. I yeah. knew of one of those people. They used to pick up a little dude that I used to work with. Yeah, and so like when he posted it, like that was the dude that used to come pick him up. I felt, you know, so I felt yeah. bad for the shit. Yeah. And it's just like, bro, the more and more I see people get killed on camera, like the shit have a whole nother shit effect nasty, on you, bro. Like, and and then you got to think about we live in that internet era, so like yeah. you can really get. Took out this bitch in the worst way. Oh, I cried that shit too. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. I ain't, yeah. I ain't about to be all uh, saying no cap. Niggas be saying. <laughs> uh, like, but the, when uh, my man George Floyd. Yeah. Now I see that shit at work. Now I'm working with white people. I'm like, dog. Like, don't say shit to me. Nobody. Yeah. Like, like I said, it, it's just <laughs> we live. In, we living in the time where like we watching everything yeah, happen right in front of Everything in your us. face. Like, like I said, even with the. Like I said the Nipsey thing touched me a certain way because that's when. Nipsey was one of the first people and the only people I listened to when I moved up here. Yeah. And made me want to do this music shit wholeheartedly. Especially, like, even the merch and all that other mm -hmm. shit. So then when he passed away, 
Nipsey was the first person that made me think of like my own yeah. passion. Like, yeah. damn, this this is what that music shit bring. Like, this shit bring that type of hate out yeah, of motherfuckers. Man. Yeah. So then, even recently, like now I'm having these conversations with my parents and shit because they seeing what's happening to other rappers. Yeah. And they don't understand. I ain't on that level, yeah, but like, yeah. it also make me just think and look at shit differently. Shit, not even with the music shit. That's nigga in life. Period. Yeah, that's dog. a life Anything, for sure. Anytime nigga see you coming up, dog, it's always gonna be somebody like envious of you or whatever. Like, you right. Who the fuck this nigga think he is? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. It could be with a bad chick. Like, you got a whip. It could be your job. It could be anything, bro. Nigga yeah. gonna be jealous or something. Yeah, I was just telling my partner that this morning. Like, we had a real motherfucking conversation. Because like I said, at this point, it's like my my people back home and shit. They yeah. know I'm out here. And they know what I do, like, far as music. Yeah. But like I said, literally, bro, we have lost, yeah. like, what, three art, two artists and mm -hmm. shit. Somebody brother killed themselves. We have Mo three, yeah. Died. Then you got King uh, Von. King Von. Then the baby brother killed yeah, himself. Boosie got Boosie shot. Got shot. Motherfucker Butchie. Benny. Yeah, yeah, like so. You just watching this shit, and so like my people really be worried about me. Yeah, because they know like I don't have that many people up here. Yeah. I don't roll deep and all that other shit. Yeah, for sure. So like we just had a real conversation today, and I just had to tell him like, bro, you know I don't really talk about death that much because I believe death is in the like you know life and death is in the tongue. Mm -hmm. But like I can't really live my life in that fear, bro, because it's really. It kind of pushed me to make more shit. So yeah. even if something happened, yeah. niggas gonna look back and be like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> this shit was hard. They gonna be like, "Dog, them niggas was on their business." That's what I'm saying. I'm you trying know? to leave as much content and yeah. material and all that shit for that type of shit. Not saying I want it to happen mm -hmm. or I expect it to happen. Yeah, but like, that's I can't live in fear, bro. I gotta, yeah. I gotta live on my purpose because who knows if something did happen to me, the next person might. Blow the fuck up or move mm -hmm. off of my words. Yeah, or that that might be inspired. I ain't gonna lie, should be in my mind, bro. Like doing this whole podcast shit. I'm like, dog, I got something. I hope nothing happened to shit. Nobody in this bitch. But nigga, just like I got something that my kids can go back and be like, dog. This my dad was a wild motherfucker. He was right. silly as hell. Like <laughs> this nigga got some wild stories. Anything, dog. Like I just got somebody. I got something that somebody can go back on and see me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, that, and that's, that was another, like I said, all that shit played parts in it. Yeah. And, that, and that's why, like, I started naming my shit the way that I started naming it. Even, yeah. like I said, with Booby Son, like, nigga, my dad was was the guy I looked up to. Yeah, like, man, sure. I cuffed my jeans because my dad yeah. used to wear them bitches in the 90s. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. all gold jewelry because my dad used to rock yeah, that shit. That money, yeah, but they yeah. had pictures and shit to go back and look at. Now, yeah. say, these days and these these days and times, we don't even put pictures in the crib. No, all our pictures go on social nigga, media. Come on, dog. You go to your grandma's house and look at that same photo album, nigga, a thousand times. Right, <laughs> but you ain't got a new yeah. photo album. Nope. But see what I'm saying? Like your nope. photo album is on your phone. Yeah, and it's, it's on social media, bro. I swear, to God, I was talking to my wife about that shit not too long ago. Like, dog, we need a photo album. Yeah, like people, it's easy to get them bitches now. You go right to CVS, plug your phone in, and get them bitches. Man, people need to go back to doing that and make sure. And and like I said, this is, shout out to my girl again. This is something that she's been teaching me. When you around people that you fuck with or you love, yeah. make sure you take pictures, bro. Oh yeah, hell yeah, you got to dog. Make sure you take you pictures. To. And I was always one of those people like I don't like to be like, hey bro, take a picture. Of, like hell I was yeah, always yeah, one of those yeah, people yeah. like I don't like that shit. Yeah, but like. She really put it in my head Like you never know bro Yeah no you never know at all dog At all And like I said dog That photos albums Like back in the day That was the shit Right Looking at photos Like dog You see your mom With the afro And that right. motherfucker dog got the bang game Hell going yeah on this shit. Dad got the motherfucking Shirt on button Trying to get the little Taco meat showing <laughs> sure. And shit dog For <laughs> real So that shit was classic bro And yeah. no matter how many Fucking Thanksgiving Come around Every Thanksgiving When you done eating Talking shit What you doing Going through going a photo, through the album. photo album Yeah Y'all telling stories Talking shit dog For sure That's why I say man My family like you know, I'm gonna make sure we, we, we close and we can spend every holiday together talking shit, you know what I'm saying, as long as we can. Right. Because when you when you see people passing away, like you said, your granddad, your grandma, like and those be like the anchors of the family and For shit sure. and make sure everything stays straight. You be like, dog, you miss that shit, bro. Hell yeah, because like my granddad, like, I ain't gonna lie, my granddad was the glue and backbone of the whole family. Hell yeah. And the crazy part is, well, the older he got, the more he leaned on me. Yeah. And the more he leaned on my dad. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like it was just more so because we was the people that was like right there and always yeah. like, hey, granddad, what you need me to do? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna play no games with yeah. him. Like, my granddad can call me, nigga. I could be in Atlanta. He like, I need you to come play my lottery. I'm getting <laughs> yeah. on a plane, yeah, nigga. Like, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, that, Hell yeah, nigga. That's how close we was. Go ahead, man. Let me get saying? that motherfucker number 50. 50. Yeah, it was to the point, bro. I go to the store, they be like, these for Jimmy, ain't they? Hell yeah. Like, they already know. Let me stable them before you get cussed out. Hell yeah. Like, so it, we was that close. Hell so, yeah. like, it's just now, I just look at shit totally different. Like, tomorrow, no. Uh, this coming on Tuesday, right? Yeah. So Wednesday, I'm having a candlelight for oh, my yeah. granddad. Oh you yeah, feel for me? sure. Cause this yeah. is the first holiday that we really having. Yeah. And he ain't, he ain't yeah, in the yeah. picture. So then yeah, I yeah. also feel like I'm responsible 
for keep the, rest, the family to keep the yeah, family together. To. It's almost like the soul food. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The little yeah, boy yeah. that was in soul food. Hell I be yeah. feeling like that's my role because like yeah. I got my name Buddy for a reason, nigga. Like my family gave me that name. Yeah. That ain't no joke. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure. Yeah, that's one thing, dog. You gotta make sure the family is is is, is connected, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. State and don't 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 like start separating just because you know what I'm saying. Even though the person that's loved and was the head of the of the, of the family is gone, you still gotta keep that that bond with the family. Yeah, because that's what they would have wanted. For Hell sure. yeah, for sure, man. Shoot, man, we we'll get off get off that dog. You know, yeah. You, we usually end off on different things, drunk moments, this and third. But like I say, you friend of the family. <laughs> I mean, friend of the show. I right. say friend of the family. I guess it's family. Pretty much, just show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Great day upstairs complaining about the AT and T and shit. But dog, talk talk to me, dog. You 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 from Detroit? You stayed in Atlanta for a long time. Yeah. How important was that Jeezy Gucci battle? Oh, that <laughs> shit was monumental. Yeah. But. I don't like in this era I don't really know if it was received properly yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's gonna take, unfortunately, somebody to like demise from yeah. that situation not from that situation, but one of them to be gone. Yeah. For motherfuckers to really understand yeah. how big yeah. that was. Yeah. How how deep was that beef? Like how big was that in Atlanta like that you know about like like the shit was deep. Like you gotta really think about it, like even them telling the story. Like yeah. they openly talking about a yeah. case, nigga. Like it's not like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I ain't gonna say I did that. The nigga yeah. said I did some bullshit back in the day, but I grew up. Yeah. That let you know what Gucci said was the truth. You yeah. sent, you sent hitters. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. That let you know yeah. how deep it was. Hell yeah. And another thing, like I gotta put this out there because we really don't know this, and I'm tired of motherfuckers be like, Jeezy a pussy because you know who killed your man and you ain't do nothing. Yeah. How do we know that this man was his home? No, that's what I've been saying the whole time. This bro, ain't could have like, just been a hit. Like, yeah, it could have been a shooter. Because remember, it was on that Stay Strap song that Jeezy had said, like, nigga, go ahead. He said, give me, I'll give you 10000 for his chain. Yeah. A nigga took that shit and ran with it. Like, I'm about to bust this nigga. Like, I say in this room right now, I'll give you 10000 for a nigga chain. Yeah. And one mean, of y'all go do yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, you, we, we super tight. I, like, I was your homeboy. Like, like, shit, bro, like, <laughs> okay, I'll put you on the mission, my yeah. nigga. I didn't, like, <laughs> yeah. we didn't, you ain't never been to my crib. Yeah, we like, discussed we this plan. Like, you feel you know me? Saying? Like, we don't, you ain't never ate with then, my mama, nigga. Like, I, how, I, like, now, if anything, Jeezy feel responsible because somebody got killed in the process. Yeah, but yeah. that don't make that my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. In, the, in the grand scheme of things, in order for, like like we were just talking about, for like a nigga to reflect and unlearn, yeah. a nigga got to let all that shit go. Yeah, like, yeah. imagine yeah. being mad for 20 fucking years, yeah, yeah, bro. For sure. And then you yeah. also got to move a certain way when you got beef out here. So, yeah. like... Nigga, I gotta look over my shoulder. I can't Every go to the minute. Waffle House after yeah. the club. Like, <laughs> for sure. I can't go to the club. I gotta yeah. watch when I go out with my kids. I gotta move. Like, where that shit yeah. is. Exhausting. And you see where Gucci was coming from, too, and the fact, like, nigga, hey, a nigga came from my life and I killed them niggas. Like, yeah, like, you see where it come from both ends. Nigga with growth, that nigga was still reflecting. Like, listen, nigga, you did this shit happen. Not on your watch, but it happened. Yeah. And nigga, I defended myself. So you can't be, nigga, talking about, oh, you sorry for this dude. This dude tried to kill me. Right. What the fuck I supposed to do? Let this nigga take me down, nigga? Right. No, nah, nigga. I had to do what I had to do. And, yeah, yeah. and a nigga got to understand, too. Like, again, for motherfuckers saying that Jeezy a bitch for letting Gucci talk like that. If me and you get into a fight right now, yeah. either way it go. If I beat you up, you beat me up. At some point, if we gonna mend shit. Yeah, you gotta let it get off. Let me get it off my chest. Like, yeah. bro, I ain't like when you punch yeah. me in the fucking <laughs> face, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. We can't. You can't take that when I say I ain't like you punch me in the face. Yeah. We gotta fight again. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, no, nigga, you I gotta like let. Shit. I gotta see how you felt. Yeah, and if we gonna really mend shit. Yeah, all right, bro. You know what? You right. That's what, that's what that Gucci shit. was saying. Like, nigga, we talked on the phone. You knew I was gonna play the truth. Yeah, you knew this shit was coming, nigga. And if you noticed the whole battle. Gucci was kind of laid back, even even though he was taking little shots here and yeah, there, yeah. talking about his clothes, that type of shit. But when he did the truth, that nigga went. Yeah. You see his emotions really yeah, come yeah. out. Like that's really how it, he felt. After the song was over, that nigga was like, "Nigga, still talking yeah, shit." Yeah, he was like, talking shit. Like, but that was because a he couldn't to help it. Like yeah. he couldn't help it. Like nigga, I've been feeling. I've been wanting to say this shit to you for twenty <laughs> years. Nigga. Yeah, that's like, like you hit a, a nigga been talking shit for twenty years. I'll bust your ass in basketball. Yeah. We finally play one on one, and I hit the game winner, nigga. I gotta oh, yeah. pop my shit. Hell yeah, like, you talk all type of shit. I gotta at least get it off. You call a nigga a bitch, nigga. Fuck yeah, bitch, like, nigga. Nigga, get up, nigga. You could tell from the shit that Gucci was saying. He had this already like, <laughs> in his head. This was one of them shits he was in the mirror. Like, I'm gonna tell that nigga. I was smoking Pookie Loke. Like, I'm gonna make sure to get that one in. Like, Hell yeah. So you gotta let him get his shit off. Yeah. So I feel and like. Gucci this, handled it well. Like, the whole shit was good, dog. I feel and like, nigga response was good, cold as fuck with that. I'm the realest nigga in it. Yeah. Like, and I feel like that shit made it a real battle. Yeah, like, nigga, my household went. We, he was already, we went hard when that motherfucker said one thing for certain, two things for sure. Something 
come with three like I'm and the realest the nigga, nigga in it. it. Yeah, <laughs> like, I already know it got trapped. That shit had me turned, nigga. I was in the car. <laughs> I low key swerved all kind of shit. Like <laughs> Nigga, we was at the crib, nigga. Everybody my pregnant wife like, oh shit. Like, so that's why I say the <laughs> shit the shit was good, but like I said, shit didn't wouldn't made it to them mending things. If he would have had another type of response yeah. when Gucci played the song, yeah, 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 so I think that's the best. He thing had to let that nigga work out. And from that, from that response that he did, I think that gave Gucci the leeway to go ahead at the end and be like, you know, yeah, we go I ahead. accept all that. Yeah, we do you know, a song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, I accept the tribute. I accept the whole. You know what I'm saying? You sharing this stage. With me. And they don't mean that them niggas gotta be partners. They ain't gotta I be talking think, on the phone. I actually think they gonna be cool. I think they gonna do a song together. I think they gonna do a whole fucking tour. Like it only makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, uh, Imagine him, Gucci, Jeezy, Ti, and Ross on tour. <laughs> nigga, I'm going. I might try to go to every state. Like, oh, just imagine like, that shit. Come on, bro. Like, like these these niggas is trap kings. Oh, man, 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 if, if you want, just just keep it Atlanta. Like just T R uh, Jeezy and Gucci. But they got a whole museum. Yeah, that's basically built off of them what three Gucci's, niggas. I mean, music. that's what Jeezy said. Like, I can't. Well, no, T I said I can't do this without and, and don't add Gucci because somebody asked him about Gucci. Like, he a part of Atlanta. Yeah, this not, we don't not like just Atlanta, bro. Like the trap music scene. Like, yeah. like all right, I put it like this. T.I. music to me was a nigga that sell loud. Yeah. <laughs> Jeezy music to me was a nigga that sell bricks. Yeah. You always got the nigga in the hood that sell me it. Yeah. And he always got it. Yeah. Gucci sold so many fucking mixtapes that <laughs> yeah. was basically me it. Like, yeah. he got the Reggie for you. He always gonna have the bowls Hell of yeah. Reggie. Hell he yeah. Get them bitches off. <laughs> so, like, sure. when you speak a trap, like, all three of them niggas gotta exist in the hood yeah. or the hood ain't gonna function. But everybody me, can't afford uh, the bricks. Everybody yeah. can't afford the loud. You yeah. need that nigga with you the You need that, that middleman, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Reg Regibles. You feel me? Reggie <laughs> but T.I. Niggas got T.I. is the motherfucker to me personally the, the king of trap. He started that trap music as far as like I being commercialized. Like, I yeah, say. and I, and that's because of that's because of when he came out. Yeah. The only reason I say that like Jeezy is like the person that sold bricks to yeah, me. Yeah, because he was just like he had like high quality yeah, yeah, trap yeah. music. Hell yeah, for and sure. Once, and once T.I. got to that level, it wasn't really trap no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. live your life. And then Gucci man, like that like, like nigga Charlamagne said, Gucci was like that one like out of all of them, he the one who like brought up these artists. Yeah, like the Migos, That's why I Thuggers. Said, the everybody, first thing that everybody futures. smoke when you a kid and you smoke weed <laughs> yeah. is the mid. <laughs> yeah. So you you get the Reggie dealer first. Like that's yeah. the nigga that you know gonna yeah. have that shit. You gonna kick it with him all the time. Like yeah. hey, he might let you smoke for free. He cool on nigga the right too. Yeah, he might Gucci have a drink. kicked it with these niggas. He Hell raised yeah. these niggas. Hell yeah. And that's why I say like his connection to the streets is different. His connection to the youth is different. Hell yeah. Because even when Ti went to jail and damn near lost to you for real. Yeah. Hell yeah. Gucci went to jail and it's like we got closer <laughs> to that nigga. Nigga. Yeah. Cam, uh, I forgot his name. I want to say Cam Kirk is a, a photographer in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He took this one picture of Gucci, the side of the nigga Gucci face with the uh, ice cream cone. Yeah. And this picture went fucking stupid. Niggas started putting it on t-shirts, yeah. started putting the shit on murals, yeah. all this shit. My man's then blew up, went through the roof. Like yeah. He got a whole agency just off taking pictures of Gucci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just lets you know yeah, like yeah. the type of power Gucci had and like, yeah. he had so much work. When he went and to jail, he it probably, was like he ain't leave. Yeah, everybody love him because he probably more, you know, saying touchable than all these. But that's all what I'm saying. Niggas, you know like I said, you ain't never seen a nigga that sell bricks. You <laughs> never seen him with the bricks. Yeah, <laughs> you, but you seen the Reggie. The nigga with the loud, he always on the move. So yeah. you like, you, you might have to find somebody else. You got to catch that nigga. That shit going. The nigga with the mid, he ain't moving. Yeah, bro. Like, right you there, come, like, we know blocky. That nigga, nigga tell you, bro. Meet me at the same gas station <laughs> yeah. the last time. Every time, nigga, he like, right there. That's a that's a good ass analogy about this shit. He is accessible as hell. Hell yeah. Who you who you who you feel like you feel like they had the best uh, battle so far? Hell yeah, and, let, and they can't nobody top it unless you get Nas and Jay Z on or, that bitch. Or uh, that, but this ain't gonna ever happen. The only, the only thing that would top that bitch is blood shell, that blood shell the roof. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna happen. Somebody will get shot for real. <laughs> <laughs> and if and that now nah, that's the battle like I'll be tight if somebody don't get shot stabbed <laughs> or something. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, oh shit, y'all niggas been talking. You, you, you do this to me every time I come on here, bro. You give me a talk about 50. Duh. Like, <laughs> I fuck with 50 to a point, and he's so fucking. Not saying that Jeezy and Gucci ain't authentic. I just yeah. felt like, and I need, we needed that shit to end. Like, we needed that shit to. Like, that's the first beef for real. And this is why I say this shit was important. That's the first beef for real as a grown man that I have seen have closure and closed out without somebody dying. Yeah. You don't even see that shit in the hood. You don't even see, mm. you don't even see niggas in the hood that like that nigga slept with that nigga baby yeah. mama. So them niggas been beefing for years. You never seen them like sit down, talk it out, and the shit go away. Yeah, yeah. 
he's the first two niggas that <laughs> any young nigga that seen yeah. this shit happen. Yeah. So that shit, niggas, like I said, niggas ain't gonna understand it now. They ain't even gonna when, get it right now. Remember the game at um fifty, niggas was sh shooting shots out the uh motherfucking um, That's what I'm radio saying. station. And even then though, when they when they stop they shit, they can't they still can't function. Yeah, like something still like you can tell yeah. it's off. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about these niggas setting the room together. These niggas selling merch together. And I just feel like it's going to lead to more. Yeah. And I honestly feel like, and I say this shit on camera, I honestly feel like these are the only two people that can end the other shit that's going on in Atlanta. Hell yeah. And when I say that, everybody know that Thug and Lucci, yeah. they got down, they at it. Hell yeah, hell like, yeah. They got, they always send a motherfucking message to each other. These the only two people that can be the first motherfuckers to be like, look, it's okay to let this shit yeah. go so hell we all yeah. can get money. Hell yeah. Like you ain't gotta I like that nigga. The, the one thing that's the one uh beef that's close to the motherfucking Jeezy and Gucci is fucking Dolphin motherfucking Gotti. Nah, that ain't gonna never end either. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna that, never that end. That shit went too far. Yeah. And it's too fresh. Yeah. Like I said, this shit took twenty years. Yeah, this shit been so long. Cause so Icy came out so long ago, bro. It took so long that Jeezy can admit to what he did live anywhere Hell and yeah. not go to jail for it. Hell yeah. For sure, for sure, man. For sure. Hell yeah, man. Would you do a uh a versus belt with somebody who they wanted to challenge you from the, from from a local from Detroit, I mean, uh, somebody from Detroit, or somebody from Atlanta. I mean, I'm down for it's, all that nigga, type of shit. But the thing I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out is how can we do it for cash and it don't be biased. I don't see it happening. Yeah, because I'm like, do you gotta have judges? But then with the judges, it's like, what are we judging? Like, but that's why I say it, it. It would have to be like. I take that back. I probably wouldn't do it. Yeah. Cause like I told you when it comes to my music shit, I'm like Erica Badu. I ain't like the rest <laughs> of these Like Erica Badu be like, I'm sensitive about my shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. my shit be some real. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's a real personal shit. Yeah, like yeah. it might not even be a club band. Or well, this one, I ain't gonna lie. Let me go ahead and put this yeah. out here. I know for a fact I got one on here for the females. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And that shit called tantrum. And yeah. I feel like that's gonna be that shit gonna make niggas happy to take pictures with their girls. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And post them motherfuckers. Yeah, so yeah. like. So you going so we were talking about that. I think we talked about that off camera, man. Or we might have been on camera. I don't know. It's been a minute. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> are you gonna do a, a a deluxe version for this one too? Yeah, 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 for sure. And this is gonna be something like the like the Carter. Are you gonna keep this on the flow, or are you gonna switch it up? That was another reason behind me being like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna keep it's on the flow yeah. and this series to shit." Because mm -hmm. every artist that then got big got yeah. their series. Yeah, hell yeah. You for got sure. the fucking finally famous. You got the Carters. Hell yeah. You got the sorry for the weights. Yeah. You got even Lil Baby. He got a series of shit. Hell like yeah. so, that's a fact. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, got their shit. So I just feel like this. This you got Jeezy with the Trap or Die. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like this, this was one, perfect, two. and I feel like it's on the flow one. Was kind of like a reintroduction. Yeah. Motherfuckers will really see that, like I'm spitting. This yeah, ain't no, sure. this ain't no oh, game yeah. to. Me. Hey y'all, that nigga, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, that nigga is spitting like. I appreciate that. Shit shit, shit, bro. And like, I hate when nigga don't don't be thinking you got dick, you dick riding nigga. If you say his shit straight, even y'all doing the same shit, nigga, just some nigga shit straight. Man, that's the part. Of, it's okay, again, dog. That's some old young nigga. Yeah, shit. that's some young nigga shit. Like, like, nigga can't show love to somebody on social media. Like, dog, you can. It's okay, bro. <laughs> that, that's, and that's the fucking problem Like bro yeah. It's okay Man, like, It's niggas, okay show love Niggas gotta understand I'm a different type of nigga Like yeah. Even when I If I call one of my homeboys right now Until we talk And get off the phone I'm gonna say Alright bro I love you Yeah Bro, it ain't nothing wrong with showing no, love. It ain't. It ain't. I'm, I'm learning that shit right now, bro. <laughs> bro that shit is, I learned that shit, That shit man. was probably one of the most important things I learned in yeah. my fucking life, for real. Like, ain't yeah. nothing wrong with that shit, bro. If anything, that shit make me feel like a nigga more of a man yeah. if you can really do that oh, type yeah. of shit. Oh, yeah. Hell like, yeah. For sure. Because if not, then it'd be like, you just... Hell yeah. Just... You, I don't know what the fuck you got to be tough all the time. <laughs> hell yeah, bro. nigga, like, super tough, right, nigga. You that ain't tough even realistic. Kids, that just wife. always made me feel like a nigga putting on. Yeah, hell yeah, nigga. You know you soft as fuck, so you got to play as tough role. Yeah, you trying to fit in, bro. Yeah. And I ain't really one of those. Cause them quiet, laid back niggas. niggas be the ones you got to worry about. Yeah, and <laughs> and I always feel like cause a nigga that can show love. When he flipped the fuck out, it got to be something serious. Oh, yeah. Like, dog, this nigga mad. Like, this yeah, nigga, like, this shit for real. And I'm one of them people, so it'd be like, I'll flip out and everybody else get mad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that nigga buddy don't bother nobody. Hell, like. yeah. Hell, yeah. But shit, man, you know, we 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 uh we ain't had a late producer in this motherfucker. <laughs> we ain't talked about it's on the flow too and shit. For sure. We ain't talked about the battle, man. We got some shit now. Like, we ain't say, we ain't talk about your drunk stories and stuff like that. But and the people off with some shit. They they can learn from like it could be some wild shit like don't do drugs or nigga make sure you wear a condom like exactly. what's some shit if a nigga this day last time seeing you on the interview what's some shit you want to end this shit off with uh ain't got to be no spiritual shit or no it's some know? real shit oh yeah. all right I put it like this the thing that I always want to leave motherfuckers with mm -hmm. seeing that I you know what I'm saying I'm Mister B you don't doubt you bro yeah. I want to leave a motherfucker with 
manifest the things that you want. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, like, for sure. Not not so much just to speak on the things that's going on in your life right now. Yeah. Like we said, we all been in that place where like, like I don't even know if I want to wake up tomorrow. This is so yeah. goddamn bad. Like, I see the same bullshit every day. <laughs> Hell yeah. But in, the, in those same moments, make sure that y'all manifest the shit for the future, bro. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. That's speak, a fact. Speak the shit that you want into existence. Hell like, yeah. I promise, I, I promise you, the more you speak on that shit, first of all, the better you're going to feel. Because when you start working towards the shit that you just spoke on, Shit, a year ago. Hell yeah. When you start seeing it prosper, yeah. you be like, damn. You be like, damn, bro. Yeah, I did that shit. You like feel I, good. I've been telling you about this best podcast in the motherfucking world, Craig. For, for sure. <laughs> That's a fact, man. I know I got some people out there who doing your, they thing, but in my mind, I got the best one. For sure. And I'm always feel like that, man. Ain't no cockiness, no nothing. I put, I've been putting that shit on my captions on on Instagram, nigga, since episode one. For sure. <laughs> with four, with twenty followers, nigga. Like That's how you gotta feel, like. And I, like I said, like I said on the uh, the connected experience, this is just me getting started. Yeah. So like, I'm telling niggas now, like, oh, I yeah. might not, you might not think that shit now. You might not listen to my music how you listen to your favorite artist music. But trust me, I'm yeah. about to, I'm about to be up there. Hey, and trust me, y'all. Niggas who I don't fuck with, don't, don't rock with their music, they don't come on this bitch after one interview. <laughs> <laughs> this is nigga third time, so I must fuck with the nigga, For dog. Because sure. a lot of niggas like, can't come back through. Like, oh yeah, I got you, dog. I ain't about to. I ain't about so to get back in there. Nah. <laughs> I ain't gonna hit him back at all, dog. <laughs> but no, I told you, hey, every time I drop, I'm trying to slide through. Hell yeah, Cause for like sure. I said, in other podcasters, bro, please, yeah. peep game. I love when niggas ask me break down my lyrics. Yeah. Let me know you listening to what the fuck I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, Cause again, yeah, yeah. cause it's easy to have somebody on the bitch. Oh, he got a new project coming out. Oh, niggas liking it. Oh, he got a good following. Come on. But you ain't about to even listen to this nigga Hell shit. Hell no. That's why I, I hit you this morning. Like, uh, send me send me the music, yeah. dog. Yeah, I sent that shit right over. <laughs> Hell like, yeah. And, and that's because, like I said, this shit is natural. This shit is organic. Yeah. And shit, when you listen to my music, this shit raise questions. And yeah. I'm going to make sure this project probably touch every emotion that a nigga got for real. Hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Shit, man, tell people where you can find the music. Shit, you got the new clothing line and stuff. Where, where can they get the, the, the merch and stuff at? Let them know all that. For sure. Hey, everything is that's buddy. Now you know, like I told y'all before, I'm country, so it's D D A T S buddy, yeah. and that shit. That's that's buddy dot com. That's buddy Instagram. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Hit me up on the motherfuckers and other artists and everything, bro. Let's work. Hey, hey man. Hey, uh, let me see. What's it's, it's November, January, dog. I got some shit for you, dog. I got a hook. I need you to be hey, on. Hey, bro, dog. you already know. I'm down for all that <laughs> shit. Hell yeah, I, shit. I'm gonna leave niggas with this, man. It's Thanksgiving time, man. If you fuck up the dressing. Man, keep that shit at the crib. Don't even touch it, man. <laughs> Don't fuck up a Thanksgiving meal if you can't cook, man. Hell no. Go to grandma's crib and borrow a motherfucking dish. Shout out to everybody, nigga, 49. <laughs> <laughs>